Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make the pump void in the original map. So first of all, let's create a new map called Original 2. This is the second version. On the top left corner, there's an Add Boss Here button. You click it, you can create a new boss. The top left uh, button is the one that you can import an image from your phone or your tablet. The second one is for you to draw a new boss. Uh, for example, you can draw a triangle here. We will use this triangle later as the boy's hair. So this is where you can draw a, a triangle. Or draw anything, actually. And then uh, you can also import one image from the library. In this case, we imported the boy. Um, we can drag it around, rotate it, um, scale it, big and small. Um, Basically, like a, a lot of any other uh, photo editing software. This is the timeline. Um, it moves from 0 seconds to 4 seconds. You can change the time span if you want to. Um, for example, if I put it on the bottom and play it, it will go up. Since we set the keyframe on the 4 second to be at the middle of the page. So in the game, um, the zero second is where the boy started, and four second is probably where the boy ended at. Now let's put the hair in that we just made. It's the triangle. So if you select nothing on the scene, you tap, but you tap the plus button. We will import an image you created, but it has no connection to any other objects. But if you import you create a image while selecting the character, then that image will be connected to the character. For example, it will move with the boy. Now let's see if I can make this more. Just there. The, yep, it moves with it. Now, um, this number here is the sorting layer of the image. So now I'm just putting it behind the boy. Two layers behind in case we need an extra layer. Um, we can duplicate using the blue key. Oops. There's another one here. And then I duplicate another one to put it there. Now duplicate another one. I think there are like four or five spikes on the original version. Let's just do five. There you go. All right, that looks great. Now I want this animation to be faster. So I let the boy come in one second. Oh, okay, it seems like a bit too high. Move it back down a little bit. Show half top, half the body. Oh, here comes from the interesting part. Uh, let me just hide it after four seconds first before the hair comes out. Or maybe five seconds, make this animation slightly longer. Okay, so what it does is goes in, wait for four seconds, and then comes back down. Looks great. Okay, and then uh, after it comes in, wait for half second. It just Let's just move him a little bit. It automatically keys if you rotate or translate the position of the boy. Now, after wait for 0 0.8 seconds, his hair starts to grow, just like that. And then wait for another half second, it goes like that. And then this one goes like this. And then, woo! Oh, okay, we set a key on. <laughs> Um, when it's growing back, interesting. Let's see how this looks. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, I mean this looks good. If you don't want to shrink it, it kind of already. Uh, if you want to shrink it afterwards, it kind of already work. And if you don't like to shrink it, you can always just set another key here at the, uh, let's just say, at five seconds. Mm -hmm. 
I think there's a calculation error somewhere. Oh, I know why. Yeah. Oops. The Okay, that works. Ah, because it doesn't snap when I move this. That explains. Tick. So, tick, 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 tick. That looks good. It bounces a little bit, so it's more lively. When it comes back in, does it... Oh, it actually hides the hair. That's perfect. Done. Now you can test play in game. Test play. Oh, that's perfect. Mm, let's see how it makes up with some bullets. Bullet per second, bullets multiplier, and um, if bullet is enabled. Let's see. Does it work? Yay! It comes in. Oh, jeez. All right, works perfectly. And there we go. Here's the first lesson. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you next time.